Hello everyone, and welcome to the Quantpedia Explains Trading Strategies video series. Today, we will talk about the high frequency trading strategies. Hello everyone, my name is Radan Vodko, I'm CEO of Quantpedia. Today we will discuss uh, high frequency trading. So what is high frequency trading? We can find very very good article of course on Wikipedia, but high frequency trading is a type of algorithmic trading that's characterized by high speeds, high turnover rates and leverages high frequency financial data. Now it's very very hard trading style, so it's very hard to build high frequency trading strategies. It's extremely computing intensive, etc, etc. We in Quantpedia are not exactly specialist on high frequency trading. Most of our strategies are in a daily, weekly or on a monthly basis. Also the most of the research papers that we select and we read and write about and backtest are on daily, weekly and uh, monthly time frame. The reason for that is because that's the usual time frame for hedge fund, mutual funds and classical asset allocation funds. That's also our specialty. But we have some high frequency trading and trade trading strategies in our database, but it's not the majority. So we have only around 40 strategies out of, I don't know, 900 or 1000 uh, strategies. So it's less less than 5%. I would like to point you to a few of the blog posts that you can read on our blog that deal with the high frequency trading and market making, etc, etc. You can read them for free, so you don't need to have any subscription or anything like that. So the first is called Market Makers and Extreme Price Movements. It's a blog post about the research paper from Jonathan Rogar, Konstantin Sokolov and uh, Yang Zhang. So it's a blog that shows that market makers in the time of the stress before they profit from the subsequent reversal so before they start to provide the liquidity they utilize uh, price pressures in the stressful times so it means they scale back they interfere only later and it's a whole analysis how they do it and how the price action look like around the extreme price movement then another blog post that may be interesting for somebody who is interested in high frequency trading is a uh, working with high frequency tick data cleaning the data it's a blog post that shows what are the most common ways how the data may be corrupted, which tools we can use for checking, cleaning and what are the most common types of the errors in the data that you need to check before you start to work or start to build any high frequency trading strategy. It's a bid ask bounds, simultaneous observations, uh, low volume ticks, uh, gaps, uh, outliers, etc, etc, etc. Another article, it's called How to use the border flow imbalance. It's a paper or it's an article about the paper from Com to Real Invest Trade from 2021. It's an interesting article, it shows how to use deep learning for high frequency return forecast based on uh, order book information for 150 Nasdaq stocks. That's something that I would like to recommend to you. And the last blog post that may be interesting for you if you are interested in high frequency trading or market making is uh, optimal market making models with the stochastic volatility. It's a recent blog post from uh, Idogan. She works on the derivation of the optimal prices for HFT or HF HFT to execute the limit buy and sell orders. Once again, I really recommend this if you are interested in how to improve your market making models and high frequency models. Thank you very much. As I said, we are not exactly the specialist for high frequency trading and uh, market making, but there are still some papers and uh, ideas that you can find on Quantpedia. So uh, feel free to visit us and I hope that you will join me in the next video. Thank you very much interested then pick another video to learn more or subscribe to quantpedia pro and try how our analytics and reporting significantly save time spent on quantitative research